Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the... Well, next couple of days, 16, 17, 18, 19, you know, the timing is fluid, right? I guess you can change your mind at any time, you know? You can change your mind at any time. You don't have to keep going down the path that you've been going. You can stop. You can you can turn around. You can choose a, another way of doing something. You can choose a new truth. You can choose to change your direction, your life, everything. You can change your mind. Anyhow, we're going to get started. Um, I did open two more classes. I've gotten a few emails over the last couple of months as to when I'm going to do that. So I opened two more classes. I did put it in my community section. I opened one for people that haven't taken the class yet where you learn to read the tarot cards my way. It's not like any other class you've ever taken because, you know, I don't uh, go by the books. And um, all I've had done like six of them already, and they've all been, I thought, fantastic. And I think the other the people that took them did as well. At least that's what I think. They did uh, express having another class at the end um, of the first class. The, the The groups, every single group, said, you know, if you have another class, a class number two, I'd be interested. And they expressed wanting to learn about reversals. In class number one, we're just doing uprights and we're doing all the cards. In class number two, um, we're doing the reversals. We're going to talk about the spreads and let you ask me whatever questions you want to ask about. It's going to be a, like a, and everything is done by Zoom. It's like the second class is for people that have already taken the first class, that have completed the first class and are interested in learning about uh, the reversals and spreads, how I put them together. Ask me questions if you've been practicing and, you know, whatever questions you have. First class number one is a six-week class. Um, class number two is with the reversals and stuff for those of you that have already taken the class is a five-week class if you're interested the, the link will be at the end down in the description box and in my community section i do have a couple of private reading slots open as well um, i am going to be adding merchandise to uh, this channel here in the very near future i am in the process of making two more tarot decks with no ai not using any AI. You know how I don't care about fake. Um, what do we have for a message today? I think that's going to come back to bite people. The ones that use it, I think it's going to come back later and it's going to bite them right in the bot. So, anyhow, what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? Apple, temptation will test you. Woo! So there's temptation here. This is like, you're going to be tempted. It's like, it's like the Adam and Eve kind of situation, huh? There's like a chameleon there as well. I feel like it's a chameleon. It looks like a chameleon. Beware. Beware. It's, it's very interesting. I think it's going to come back and bite them. Ooh. Hmm. This damn card. Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. Comes out all the time. 
People can't see it though because they're so focused on what's right in front of them. There's an opportunity waiting. What's behind door number one? What's behind door number two? Apparently there's two doors. <laughs> what do we have? What do we have for a message today? Tower. Solid foundation, success with effort. There's an opportunity waiting for you, but and if you go through that door, you you do it, you take the risk. <laughs> uh, looks like you will. There's success. I'm building a solid foundation. This does have to do with the choices that you make. And there is definitely a door involved. What do we have for a message today? said it people only look at what's right in front of them look deeper something is hidden I can barely see it in that card either what what looks to be one thing there's something definitely hidden absolutely look deeper something is hidden there's no doubt about it Oh, we have one card that didn't come up. I'm going to take it. Missed opportunity. Underneath the temptation card. Yikes. Somebody's missed an opportunity. Maybe they didn't look. Maybe they didn't look at something close enough. Hmm. There's an opportunity waiting if you just look deeper. <laughs> this damn card won't stop coming out either. Unrequited love. I mean, that little kitty kitty loves the dog. The dog is not interested. The dog is looking someplace else. That little cat is infatuated, obsessed. The dog probably loves the attention, but really, 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 really doesn't care. There's an opportunity waiting for you. Somebody is missing an opportunity. They're not even seeing it because they're not looking. They're like, oh, this is good. It's in front of me. There's effort. Somebody needs to take the effort. They need to make the effort. They need to make the effort to look deeper. And look, look. Something is hidden. What do we have for a message today? Knight of Wands reversed. And Knight of Wands reversed is somebody that is all over the place. Doesn't have any real staying power. May not follow through with things. May be looking for attention. This may be negative attention. This is seeking attention. We may have somebody here that plays the field. 
huh, impulsive, acts on lust, acts on desires. Uh, you know, this is somebody that doesn't think before they act and moves very, very quickly into situations to get their needs met. This is all about getting needs met. Mm -hmm. There's a need to slow down. There's a need to uh, be careful as well. The Knight of Wands is an actual person in this reading that is acting impulsively. They're doing something maybe obnoxious. This may be somebody that is boastful and loud, um, a show off. This could be somebody that has a very bad reputation um, and is um, acting inappropriately. There is somebody here that is acting inappropriately. They're doing something to uh, get their needs met. It's like they really have this strong desire to get some attention. They're not getting the attention that they need and they're doing something to get attention. They really, it's like, I, it's like they need to be fed, you know, maybe they need an ego boost. There is definitely somebody here that is looking maybe for instant gratification, whether it's uh, intimacy related or attention related or whatever it is. There is somebody here that is in need of attention. They're not feeling loved. Um, maybe they're out of control. This can definitely be an out of control energy. Forceful. Oh my goodness gracious. Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords, the message is coming that you do not want to hear. It's probably not good news. Okay, and I don't care if it's upright or reversed. Okay, this is a message that is coming. We have somebody here I feel like is angry. Again, they may be saying something, doing something. They put themselves in a position where, you know, they may feel like they're above, okay, that they, or they want to be above. They want, they're trying to get some sort of recognition. Somebody is looking for recognition. This person looks angry to me. And there's something about lots of messages. And I feel like there's somebody who doesn't have all the facts, okay? That court, that sword is that's like half the truth, okay? They may not have all the facts. They may not have all the information. But this person is, you know, standing on a hill. They may feel like, you know, they're, they're bigger or they're better, you know, that kind of thing. They may want to appear that they are. Um, there's a need to review things, look at things. Go over the facts. Okay, somebody could maybe coming in or coming around that does not have good intentions. This person is doing something to gain attention. That's for damn sure. Anyhow, and it's an, and you need to maybe defend yourself, set boundaries, protect yourself. Um, a message is coming that may catch you off guard. Put it that way. Maybe it's whether it's whether you want to hear it or not, you're definitely going to be tempted. There's somebody here that is that wants to get their needs met, and they may seem very charming, very charming and charismatic. Um, Wheel of Fortune reverse is a horrendous, unfortunate loss. It's setbacks, it's delays, it's bad news. This is bad news. Um, this is unfortunate. We may have somebody here that is acting an impulse, maybe they're angry, they're upset, they're, they're maybe even, I wanted to say, I just want to say furious. Um, this person is uh, maybe like, I just heard the word hot, you know, hot in hot pursuit as well, in hot pursuit of getting their needs met, he being heard, being seen, We may have somebody here that uh, is, uh, I mean, this can be a cheater, a player, a ladies' man, and it doesn't have to be a man. It can be a woman as well. This is somebody that uh, is not feeling confident or they're feeling overly confident. You know, they're look, somebody's looking for a boost, okay? They're looking for a boost. They have no intentions of sticking around. They don't have good intentions and uh, something is off. And I think that you need to be careful because there's somebody here that is 
out of control. This is, I feel like it's obnoxious behavior. Anyhow, Wheel of Fortune reversed. Is something coming back around as well? Somebody may be coming back around. Maybe you thought something was over. Something that was done in the past may be coming back up again. Something, you know, uh, isn't over. You may have thought something was over. It's not over yet. We may have a gossip here as well. Something is, this is bad luck. It is bad luck. It's bad news. It's, it's setbacks. It's delays. It's a horrendous loss. It's unfortunate. Look deeper. Something is hidden. Review. Review somebody. Reviewing actions. Review their actions. Review their actions. Actions speak louder than words. Actions speak louder than words. Six of Wands reverse. The Six of Wands is failing. And this is a one-hit wonder. It absolutely is. We have a one-hit wonder. This is somebody that is very cocky, smug, and arrogant. Is looking for attention. Absolutely. There is somebody here that is something about confidence as well. They're lacking self-confidence. Somebody is looking for an ego boost. This is somebody that doesn't lead others to victory. There's no victory. This is somebody that brings them backwards. Um, wants to be in a position of authority, is looking for some sort of ego boost. Definitely. Failing to achieve, losing support, not getting recognition. We'd have somebody here that, I don't know if they're losing support, losing friends. They're definitely losing a battle. They're losing a battle. They're not winning. Um, there could be a rejection here. This is somebody that does not act nobly. There's a lack of nobility. This is poor leadership all over the place. Doesn't follow through. Follows the crowd as well. We got somebody here that is, I want to say, begging for attention because they've, they're not, maybe they don't have any support from anybody. They're not getting support or they're not getting recognition. Failing. Failing. Oh my goodness gracious. Page of Cups. So there is somebody here that is sending a message or they're looking for romance or they're flirting or they're wooing or they're sending out a message um, and that whatever they're doing. Okay, this is underneath the Knight of Wands reversed and the Six of Wands reversed. This is somebody that is taking an optimistic approach. This is a very sweet talker. Okay, they may say, you're beautiful. They may say, I love you. They may say, oh, there's just something about you. You know, the Page of Cups is very sweet, okay? This person is... Uh, Sending a message or an offer or an invite. Um, they're saying something very uh, feeling. They may be touching your feelings, touching your heart, you know, trying to uh, woo you. Okay, this is somebody that does not have good intentions. Words. Words. Now, this can be a child. It can be a child. It can be somebody that acts like a child. Very immature. Um, looking to touch somebody's heart or touch their feelings. And that's how you manipulate is through feelings. That's how you reel them in. It's like that fish. Okay? You reel them in by going after their feelings. Tell them what they want to hear. And you got them. Four of Cups reverse. So this is seizing an opportunity that was missed or ignored. 
or not seen. Listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Okay, if your intuition is telling you <coughs> that something is off, something is off. There is somebody here that is not noble, okay? They're not noble. They're attention-seeking. There's an opportunity waiting for you that you cannot see. Be patient. I tell you what, you're definitely going to be tempted. There is some strong temptation here. This is a desire. This is a wanting to get all of those needs met. This is a toxic bond. Like I said earlier, obsession, infatuation. Somebody is receiving a message or they're receiving news or an offer or an invite from somebody. I feel like it's... I feel like it has no long-term potential. This may be an opportunity to uh, go nowhere, but that's what it looks like to me. Look deeper. There's, there could even be some illness here. There could be disease. We may have somebody here that's already attached. Strong, strong, strong desire to get some sort of attention. Okay, this is lust. It's greed. It's materialism. Somebody is doing something it's not noble okay they're taking an opportunity they may see somebody's vulnerability even somebody's going to be tempted there is strong temptation here and this is a bond that is very very unhealthy oh ten of swords ten of swords is a death right it's the death of a situation it's the end it's the end of suffering this is betrayal Somebody is taking an opportunity. They're acting impulsively. They're acting on their feelings. They are not getting the attention that they need. They're not willing. They're failing to achieve something. So they're taking an, uh, they're not getting attention or they're not getting the support or, or they're losing at a battle. They may be losing at some sort of battle, war, you know, fight, battle, whatever. So they're doing something. Somebody is losing. Somebody may be losing to an addiction as well. So that could be a different, completely different story. There could be a, a sudden departure here. There could be the death of a situation because somebody is letting an addiction get out of control. Addic an addiction could be out of control. Temptation will test you. The devil is addictions. The devil is lust, obsessions, greed, drugs, alcohol, um, materialism. A battle is being lost. Somebody is losing a battle. And they're fed by the devil. There's greed here. Devil is, appears to be winning. That's really sad. But. Look deeper. Something is hidden. There's no um, follow through here. We got somebody here that's all over the place. They say all the right words, but it's it's toxic positivity. Well, son of a bitch, isn't it? It absolutely is. It is toxic positivity. Whatever. Anyhow, um, let's get another one. King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords is a leader. This is somebody that makes firm decisions based on the facts, based on the truth. 
Um, this is a director, leader, boss, authorities, judge, somebody in a position of authority that is reviewing something about somebody's behavior. Um, you have to make a decision based on the facts. I feel like there's some ties that are being severed here too. Um, somebody's going to be receiving some information or some news that, um, What's well, a message that they don't want to hear? They do have somebody here that is making a decision and this has to do with some sort of attachment. It has to do with a bond. It has to do with an unhealthy situation. We have somebody here that is not progressing forward. There's a lack of progress or something like that. And there's something that was being seen that was not being seen before about somebody's behavior, actions, or something like that. Somebody is receiving a message also that is going to tempt them. But you need to be honest with yourself. Is this going to hurt you? Are you being logical? Are you being honest with yourself? We do have a period of suffering that is coming to an end. We have somebody here that I wonder if they are, have failed to uh, get the attention that they need and they do something obnoxious and I don't know if it doesn't end well. It doesn't end well. Good luck.